Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. Now, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe is a graphic novel written by Colin Bunn and illustrated by Dalabor Kalajic. I know I probably butchered that guy's name, and if you're the illustrator of this comic and for some reason you're watching this video, I deeply apologize for butchering your name. And this, of course, was published by Marvel Comics. Now, this was first published as a four-part comic book series, but later on those four parts were published as one graphic novel. Now, to the best of my knowledge, I believe the character of Deadpool first appeared as a villain in the New Mutants comics, which of course were a spin-off of the X-Men comics. Now, this character started out as a villain in those comics, but as this character went on, he became more of an anti-hero, and in a lot of ways, kind of a superhero himself. Now, to the best of my knowledge, I believe the character character of Deadpool started out as actually a pretty serious character, but as time went on, the character became a lot more comedic, and comic book writers started using him as a character who's constantly breaking the fourth wall. And of course, over the years, the character of Deadpool has become a fan favorite among many Marvel fans. Now, I'm going to admit that this is actually my first Deadpool comic. I've always been familiar with the character of Deadpool because I have a lot of friends who are huge Deadpool fans, but I've never actually read any of the comics that feature this character, so this is my first Deadpool comic, and maybe this isn't the best representation of the character because this story is kind of a self-contained, standalone story that's not set in the mainstream Marvel continuity, so already the Deadpool in this comic is supposed to be kind of an alternate universe version of Deadpool, so I'm not sure if this is a good starting point or not. Now, I have seen the Ryan Reynolds Deadpool movie, and I loved the crap out of that movie, but besides that movie and this comic book, I'm not that familiar with the character. I mean, I know about the character because I have a lot of friends who are really into the Deadpool comics, but once again, this is the first Deadpool comic I have read so far. Now, as I said, this is a self-contained, standalone graphic novel, and it's not set in the mainstream Marvel continuity. Now, what the plot of Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe is the X-Men try to get Deadpool some psychological help, because Deadpool is already mentally unstable, so they actually try to get him some help, and they send him to this psychiatric hospital, but it turns out that the head doctor at this psychiatric hospital is actually a villain known as Psycho Man, who is disguising himself as a human being, and it turns out that Psycho Man wants to brainwash Deadpool and turn him into his assassin, but something goes horribly wrong for Psycho Man and for everybody else, because basically what Psycho Man starts doing to Deadpool causes Deadpool to go ten times crazier than he already was, and he ends up killing Psycho Man, and pretty much the rest of the book from then on is about him brutally killing every other character within the Marvel Universe. Like, he starts going after all these characters that we know and love from the Marvel Universe. Like, he goes after the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, Spider-Man, the Punisher, and he just brutally murders all these beloved characters. So, even though a lot of incarnations of Deadpool feature him as as an anti-hero, I could safely say that in this comic, Deadpool is pretty much the villain, and I would actually say this is kind of a horror 
horror comic in a way. Like, the comic actually has kind of the feel of a slasher film. Think of Deadpool as the slasher, and think of, like, all the other Marvel characters as the slasher's victims. Like, it it's basically is the plot of a slasher film, and he's stalking each of these Marvel characters and killing them off pretty much one by one. Now, I really enjoyed Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. This was a really entertaining graphic novel, but this was really dark, though. Like, it's funny, don't get me wrong, like, there's a lot of humor in this, but it's dark, dark freaking humor, which I guess is kind of the point of Deadpool, but in this book, Deadpool is legitimately the villain, whereas in other incarnations, he's more of an anti-hero. Now, once again, this was my first Deadpool comic, and I'm not sure if this was a good starting off point or not, because this is a self-contained story, and it's not set in the mainstream Marvel continuity, and also Deadpool is the villain in this, whereas in other incarnations of the character and in other comics, he's more of an anti-hero. So, once again, I'm not really sure if this was a good starting off point or not, but as a standalone story, I thought it was really entertaining. Now, it should go without saying that I don't recommend this for little kids who might be into Marvel, especially if those kids don't understand the concept of other continuities. Like, I could just imagine some poor little kid reading this going, oh no, what's he doing to Spider-Man? Like, I mean, uh, obviously every kid's different. There might be some kids who might be able to handle something like this, but in general, this was written for more mature readers. Now, Colin Bunn also wrote two sequels to this book. The first was called Deadpool Illustrated, and the other one was called Deadpool Kills Deadpool. I'm really excited to read Deadpool Illustrated because apparently in that one, Deadpool literally goes after all these characters from classical pieces of literature and I think I would really get a kick out of that because I'm, I'm a big fan of classic literature, so I think I might really enjoy that one. But yeah, that was my review on Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, and bye.